the celebrity cards, black YouTubers card collection rank two. Mind you, they already did one. And on the first one, CJ on 32s was in first place and I was in second place. So I already was in there, hope. But we finna see who else done made it. We finna see who other, what other black car YouTubers popping it. There's 25 black YouTubers who are that me again? There's 25 black YouTubers. What you mean, cuz? There's 25 black That's me. That's me. Black YouTubers who are in endless competition to have the absolute best. I'm not in competition with nobody. I want all the black YouTubers to win. I want all the YouTubers to win, but preferably the black ones. We need to come together and be the biggest of the biggest, nigga. We can't be doing all that shit. All that competition. We not in competition. We just we just be popping. We just be popping. That what that's what's that's what's with black. Black love to pop. You don't see white popping. Black love to pop. We can't pop on each other. We gotta pop on the other side. So yeah, but uh yeah, I'm not in competition with nobody. So when he said it don't uh evolve, uh, whatever the word is, it don't correlate to me. There's 25 black YouTubers who are in endless competition to have the not, absolute not me, not me though, not me. Best car collection. Maybe trying to catch up to CJ. Now I think just just be want to be lit. Like I don't know, I don't know. But I ain't competition with nobody but myself. I just want to be better than myself. That's that's it. Oh God. Kwan, what's your SSN? Two three four six eight one one nine two. There you go. In the community, and I'll be covering them all. Let the games begin. Starting with motivational speaker, vlogger, and entrepreneur, who Casper, who got it out the mud and went straight to Gravity Autos to pick up a spanking. <laughs> that dropped the, the dealership location and everything. That said he got money on him went here. <laughs> That's hard though. I follow that. New full yeah, black yeah. Chevy Camaro ZL1, 650 horsepower of American muscle. Before that, <laughs> he had a blue Corvette C8. Unfortunately, the vet did him bad yeah folks uh c8 having troubles folks all good though now we got a metal gray one Ooh, that boy latest boy. purchase was on a 2023 cadillac ct5v blackwing his official so daily driver now huh <laughs> my boy balling Number 25th rank. Who's balling even more is 18 year old Caprice Brown, who became a millionaire from his clothing brand. This shit cool seeing all my partners on this shit, man. That shit cool as fuck. Shout out to that boy Casper. Shout out to that boy Caprice, man. I keep watching. And Project Capri. Let me ask you, what were you doing at 17? Because Caprice was buying a Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk at that time. Nigga, when I was 17, I had a V6 Challenger. That was my first car. I was broke as hell trying to. Start, I had just started making little dollars on YouTube and shit. Yeah, I was trying my hardest not to go to college. Yeah, that's what I was doing when I was 17. Smoke gray with yellow brambos. He eventually wrapped it all red with his brand logo on the side. But that wasn't enough. After the tracky, he went for the Mercedes AMG GLE 63S. Looking too clean. But yeah, also a 2018 Trackhawk, his latest buy. Nick's fleet is sick. Number 22nd place. Guess which way we're going now? The Dre way. <laughs> That's right. Dre way. My man Dre got the collection of a young man in finance who just hit the jackpot. He got a 2021 Cadillac Escalade riding on 26 Savage. inch 4 g rims. Just that. Man, when I went to New York and I had a driver in New York, shout out that boy Black. Man, that shit made me want to Escalade. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, Hellcats cost two hundred fifty thousand in New Zealand. I'm finna ship about five of them there and sell them hoes. What the? For a hundred k a pop. Twenty second, twenty second place. That what he said? Maya the Don. Appreciate the sun, twin. Let me see. Number twenty second place. Twenty second. What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? You just talking. These six inch Forgiato rims. Just that. That's already $100,000 right there. He also has a so spicy nice. red 2021 Red Eye Hellcat Charger riding on 24 inch pepperoni Forgiatos. A 2024 Cadillac CT5V oh, Blackwing for sleazy real estate agent. But hold on, we're not done. There's also this 2022 Corvette. I used to highly dislike C8s, bro. 
I, I, I like them. They, they grew on me a lot. No cap. C8 Stingray convertible in the driveway and a more low key Mercedes AMG CLS 53 for a rainy day. 21st rank. At 20th place, we had to travel to South Africa for a second and show some love to Ghost Luby. With more than 2 million plus followers across social media, Luby is no stranger to exquisite whips. Where he, where he say he was at? At 20th place, we had to travel to South Africa for a second. South Africa, bro. I want to go to South Africa so bad, bro. I'm going to South Africa, bro. If it's not this year, it's going to be early next year. I, I'm going to South Africa, bro. Whoever in South Africa, let me know. We're going to leave, man. Look, second And show some love to Ghost Luby. With more than 2 million plus followers across social media, Luby is no stranger to exquisite whips. His garage is filled with heat. He doesn't own a Rolls Royce Ghost, but Ghost got another British car, a Range Rover SVR. Why they speak with a out there? What the fuck they be speaking out there? I know I hear it, chat. It's me. I watch all your videos, gang, so I know. You hear what? What the hell you talking about? English, French, African. How the fuck are they gonna speak African in Africa? They speak Zulu. I don't want to, I can't even say, I don't want to be that, that guy, but I don't know. What's, what's the place where they be doing that thing where it be like, oh, you know, I mean, no, 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 no. what's that place? That's Africa, right? Zulu. That's Zulu? Wakanda. I think Congo. I think it's called, I don't know what the man said. I don't know, man. But I want to, I am for sure got to go to South Africa. Hey, I got to be there. Because that nigga the translator. I don't know what the fuck. Africanese. Could know. They speak Black Panther. What, Wakanda. Say to me, about to start rapping. Man, I'm already a rapper. Y'all heard my, y'all heard my songs. Nigga, I got a lot of songs out. Y'all already heard them, but y'all didn't know it was me, though. Oh, I ain't mean leak that. Look, like, look, though. We put the watch this. A matte camo vibe, two Porsches, a 718 Cayman GT4 with custom oh. exhaust, and a white 911 Carrera GTS convertible, as well as a 2017 Golf GTI. I raised one of them. I shit you not. I raised one of them on GTA when I had my yellow Hellcat on GTA and shit. Boy, that nigga left my ass. Man, boy. <laughs> and a like, beautiful BMW M4 that we all love. This shit was modern, of course. As we keep tearing through this list, things start to get real. Rel to real must be in love with a lady named Tiffany. Because look at this track yeah, hawk track in hard. Tiffany Blue that catches all the attention in traffic. Not only this customization is insane, but he did the same for his enormous Ram 3500 and sleek Chrysler 300. Now that's a nice yeah. trio. Besides the Tiffany's, he owns a bloody red 2019 Scat Pack Charger with gold Forgiados, a 2020 custom neon green Corvette C8 convertible that keeps the same flash. Damn, nigga, slow down, nigga. Let me get the BMW out of Mercedes first. Goddamn. Relax, nigga. A lot of box Chevys, a GMC C1500, and a Dodge Challenger Red Eye. I guess being real gets you far in life. Being real gets you that moolah too. CEO, entrepreneur, and YouTuber Mac Moolah, yes, aka oh, Mako, only speaks in way, hundreds of thousands. His collection is packed up with a 2023 Corvette C8 in rose gold, a $130,000 Mercedes <laughs> AMG GLE yeah. 63S with an insane green orange aura that is very unique, a Charger Hellcat wide body too. Yeah, third car, skirt. Hellcat's coming track. Oh, nigga, have the energy, yo, bro. And a V8 Mercedes AMG C63 S last edition. Bro, before I got my GT63 S twin, before I got that bit, this that's the car I wanted. This one right here. And so I got that GT and he put me on to that bit. I ain't gonna lie. I drove his shit. I'm like, yeah, I need one of these. But this was the exact car I wanted. A C63 S coupe. Uh, 2019, it had to be above a 2019 because the 2019 had the ugly steering wheel. In the 2020, that's when they upgraded the uh, steering wheel. It was going to be one of them. Boy, man, look, shot, put you down. 
Yeah. No cap. No, I'm sorry. I don't even know why I told y'all niggas that, but uh, yeah. One of 499 ever made. Stop playing with them. It's just something about Mercedes, man. This is that C63. I don't know. With the ass on. That's what I'm talking about. Excuse me, bitch. This is C63. Stop. Excuse me. Would you get a C63 now? I, 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 I would, but it's like. When you just jump all the way to the GT, it's like you can't get no C63. C63 hard. But that GT crazy, nigga. And man, they both V8s though. So, but I don't know, chat. I might be a Benz boy, man. I don't know, man. I might be a Mercedes boy, man. I don't know, man. I don't fucking know, man. 18th rank for Moolah. When you have more than three cars at 19 years of age, how can I not Damn. put you at number 17th place? <laughs> Pappy Zook comes from this new gen of YouTubers that will make it big. My boy My got that Lamborghini Urus, an insane custom purple wide-body charger Hellcat, a Cadillac CTSV, and the track hawk. He owned a wide body scat pack at 17, but got rid of it to buy his hawk. Zook's favorite car in his collection is the Hellcat, the funnest in his That's opinion. Hard. And his ultimate dream car That's is hard. a Bugatti Chiron that he'll obtain by the age of 20. Bro, just cause of the supporter, y'all gotta chill out with that, bro. All that y'all be having going on, bro. Cut it out. I didn't go in out there and record these videos. I ain't go out there and uh, edit this videos or post this shit. He did that shit on his own. On his own. So y'all can't discredit that man for what he doing, bro. It is popping it. And a lot of his age ain't. He doing better than a lot of that's older. So yeah, I'm going to say that. I'm going to be quiet. And y'all keep yelling at me, so I'm going to just keep watching the video. Got to respect the vision. In his world, everything's orange. Does that sound familiar to you? OKQ, okay also man. known as Orange King, is one of the OGs in the industry. From starting his channel 12 years ago in 2011 to having hold the fuck up. He's in the industry. From starting his channel 12 years. 12 years? Bowski, appreciate the sub, twin. 12 years? <laughs> God. I was 10. <laughs> I was 10 years old, man. <laughs> That's crazy. How old is Unc? I think this nigga like 78 or some shit. God. Cause even here, 12 years ago, this nigga looked like a grown ass man. What the hell? Now this is one cool ass Unc. I fought with that boy, the, the long way, the strong way. Shout out to that boy OKQ, okay, man. He like 32? Hell no, nah, that nigga gotta be above 80, nigga. Years ago in 2011. Oh, they did that nigga dirty. <laughs> hey, man. That's hard, though. A lot of niggas don't get to see his age. That nigga been here on Earth for a long ass time. That's crazy to having almost 1 million followers across social media the man's journey is one huge success the proof of that is his wild orange out cars first of all he owns one now, of we're not gonna lie like we're not gonna see her up and lie like we wasn't watching this p uh the dash cam videos a long ass time ago when we was like three years old and he was like 25 nigga. we was all watching his videos nigga. so yeah, I think it's cool out now. One of the craziest built track hawks, the Thunderhawk 2.0, more precisely, with every mod you can imagine. It's covered with anime graphics and the details are out of this world. The interior is red, orange, and yellow, fully custom. And let's not forget, it outputs 900 horses. Besides the Thunderhawk, he got an orange chrome BMW M5 and a modded Ram 1500 TRX. Damn, All hard. his cars reflect his atypical style so well. That's Damn, why never he deserves 16th place. My bad. 
Known for his gold digger pranks, vlogs, and opulent lifestyle, Nayer Prince is living the big life. His fleet is no joke. He got the keys to a $300,000 Lamborghini Urus, a Corvette C8 Stingray, and a Lamborghini Huracan EVO RWD. All three of them are designed in the same dark beige color to match. This is goaded. Number 15th rank. From hanging out with Kai Sinet, Phantom, Lil Boosie, Pooh Shiesty, Big Scar, and Funny Mike, to having Hellcats wrecked Damn, and buying others like it was nothing, Camera Cat really paved the way for many upcoming creators in the making. But what's in his personal collection? Well, a 1,025 horse top. That nigga demon hard as fuck. Oh my. I would dodge Demon 170 with a blueberry wrap that makes you climax to a big boy Italian Lamborghini Urus feeling like Roberto, a Corvette C8 Stingray for when he's pressed and oh a Charger Hellcat. Undoubtedly, the Demon 170 is the hit piece of the fleet, a real Hollywood star, this whip right here. You know what I'm saying? 14th place for Kama Cat. As you'll see right now, starting YouTube seven years ago was a good idea, and it paid. Another one of my man, y'all know we was watching this when we was young too. He was the only in high school with a scat pack, nigga. The only. Oh, that was the exact case for a young innovator, Josh Laurent, who is the free. I was waiting on the nigga drop a video with that damn scat pack, nigga. Oh God, nigga. Freaking <laughs> landlord of this thing, a rainbow pebble, flame spitting. Who you got, Chemical or SIT lit in a race? I mean, Chemical. It's a 170. It's like a once, like, bro, this, I don't think y'all understand the suspension on that car, how crazy that is. I don't think y'all understand. And also, even if the suspension was the same, everything was the exact same, Challengers is lighter than Chargers. But, yeah, them boys, both of their demons hard as fuck. But in a race, I, w I would. I would hope uh, the, the 170 Challenger will win. I don't know though. I don't know. Comics inspired Lamborghini Huracan bought at the age of 21. The Saint Retro Pop Rap makes it a one of one and really stands out nasty. from the others. And the White Forge Elite Rims really makes it pop. Exactly like this Mercedes AMG GT with Rohana Forge wheels and a ridiculous F1. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I would get one of these bitches, bro. Them is sexy as Bowski, appreciate the sub, man, if I ain't already said that. Friendly competition, they might have to park them tracks when you release yours. Yeah, friendly competition, I'm just saying. Like, nah, for real though. These Mercedes is hard as No cap. But the interior just ain't, it ain't giving it what it's supposed to be giving up. Quite, you think you're going to get a Huracan? Should I sell the 720 for a Huracan, y'all? Yeah, I know the, the Huracan is slower than the 720. That sound crazy. And I mean, I have two lambs. They gotta take the bumper off that bit. If I was to get a hurricane, that bit would be spin flames, murdered out, all black. Man, no, 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 no. Y'all niggas don't like hurricane? All right, I'm sorry, goddamn, relax. Chill, nigga, chill. Chill, nigga, relax. Get a Bugatti. All right, you beside yourself. It's coming, not just yet, though. 720 way better. Huracan's ass. GC3 way faster. Uh, SBJ, 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 SBJ. Bro, I'm not getting no SBJ before coming. Y'all niggas out your mind. I'm not buying the STO. That shit is a Huracan with a, with a package on it, nigga. That's the most stupidest shit you can buy unless you're just filthy rich. Buy a lawnmower. I might do that. Who got it when you turn 30? I don't know, that's too late. I need one before that. Everybody got a Huracan. Everybody got a track hawk. Everybody got a Hellcat. It don't matter. It don't matter. Cause whatever I get, I'ma make that bit look like some cozy. One looking rap. This Zoo, is really the subs, next level. Real spaceships right here. An exotic blue track. I said no though, so I'm not gonna get it, bro. God damn, shut the fuck up now. All that damn complaining in my chat. Get where you're getting, don't throw a fit. Now, if I pop out with a Huracan, 
I'm not gonna pop over there. I'm just playing. Cock couldn't be missing from Josh's assembly. I think about it now, though. I can hardly yeah. imagine right. driving that Huracan and GT on a daily. I was getting the M4. Yeah, I never said I was getting the M4 in my life. I like M3s. Not gonna lie. Anyway, 13th Stop rank. Pausing. My bad. I ain't gonna pause that bit no more. Von he said, stop pausing. Ante 1K goes slot. Lightly American. The one and only U.S. road killer from his collection. Skip, 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 skip. All right. They saying skip, so I'm going to just skip it. I guess they don't want to watch it. Don't skip. Nigga, stop. No way he's over Josh. Who was before him? It was some heavy hitters they put before him. I ain't getting into nothing. And his latest purchase was an M5 comp. My boy literally went through every model. Solid 12th place. 12th place, man. Let's do it. A legend. One of the greats, true OG, Corey. This deserves all the credit he can have, bro. Oh, God. This was one of the ones that started this. He started Car YouTube, bro. I swear to God. Barrett, best known as Tall Guy Car Reviews, has been on the forefront of car content in the black community for a drawn out. You know what I'm saying? What's for sure is that his individual collection is pure gold. His Hellcat Red Eye is when his chrome gold liking started. With Quan, you're up. I ain't got no up. I'm happy. I love everybody. Red details all over and Forgiatos <laughs> for show. Then he followed up in the same style with his Ram Rebel and his, hold on now, McLaren 570S Spider with a huge wing that looks insane. And because he's generous, he even bought his fiance a Lamborghini Urus. Respect. 11th rank. Top 10, baby. We diving in. Let the big ball is in. 25 year old, self made, multi millionaire. This is the first Samuel person on the list that I don't made know yet. Big bucks from e commerce. And now the lifestyle looks like a movie. And the garage looks like a dealership. At 24, he bought his dream car, a $600,000 Rolls Royce Cullinan. Not any kind of spec, though. Arnardo gray exterior and I heard it blue leather here. interior. That's luxury, baby. Lambo wise, he purchased the orange pearl capsule version of the Lamborghini Urus and threw the loudest exhaust on it. What type of content he made? Second know? lamb was a bright green Lamborghini. You know you on that list. But this is part two. I keep telling you this is part two, bro. I was on part one. This is part two. This is smart as Bro, God damn, relax. Huracan Performante Spider worth three hundred fifty thousand dollars. This is pure exotic taste right here. Manua, rich, he rich. E have you ever considered being a gamer? If not, I you should. might have to rethink that twice after you see Cool Kid FRM BX's car collection. The rapper gamer loves cars as much as in his gameplays because check it out. His IRL pieces be on TikTok, are priceless. Hey, Jay's this? manual neon green BMW G82 M4 looks so fresh but here's why he's really flexing on us he bought another m4 great convertible this time this nigga got two m4s why'd you watch part part two before part one we already seen part one didn't we time but wait he also got a third bimmer x5m competition for longer trips staying with the germans he also splurged on a silver mercedes-benz s580 like if three bmws weren't enough you know what i mean <laughs> But Cool Kid's a real car guy. His Z. ocean blue Nissan 350Z is nasty. Same statement for his S14. Facts. Six cars, baby. Life's good. He got an S14. That's hard. Ninth place. Let's dive into the world of streaming with very controversial D streamer. E Who's drop him off? Yeah. Who? Whether you like him or not. Which, which one of y'all niggas DEO in the chat? Let me know. Who, who DEO in the chat? Who DEO? I I know y'all y'all just be yo y'all just be riding away, bro. Y'all niggas be riding away, bro. Stop riding away, bro. This is one of them ones when it comes to that stream shit. Y'all niggas put some respect on his name. On oh God, nigga. For real, nigga. This nigga been doing this shit for a long, long, long time. Y'all folk. 
Come on now. Stop lying. Lying, nigga. I ain't lying. Yeah, that's the truth. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah. Know what's up in the chat, man. All right, back to the video. Not has a great taste. Kwan, you need some ops. Fuck, I need ops for you, my op. You, my op. Fuck you. How about that? With your ass. Back to the video, nigga. In automobiles. When in Japan, Bruce decided to go to Tokyo Drift on us when he bought his fantasy car, a that Nissan GTR so R34 Skyline, an icon, period. It was gray at first, but he wrapped it in blue to look exactly like Brian's car. Before that, he dropped $200,000 on a red Dodge Demon 170, the ultimate Mopar. His first car. Was Where the POVs at? We've been waiting. You tripping, gang. Drop the POVs. We want to see that. And we was watching. And you just stop. All that dropping one. This nigga drop four times a year. Every season. Once a season. Cut it out. We want to see that. Because I know my stud driver, he been chilling. He ain't been driving crack. We want to see you do it. You do it. Where the fuck is you at? Hurry up. Come back. I know you. you I, I seen you posting on social media. You look like you're out of town. Go drive. Come back and drive. We trying to see the hawk. We trying to see the the CT, the black wing, the demon. You got the V's. We want to see. Damn. Tripping. Was an Infinity G30. I know you're not talking. First off, we ain't even gonna get in that. Just relax. Just relax. But we want to, man. Seven. I know I ain't Pretty one. hard too. He went from that to now even owning a matte black Mercedes Maybach S class. That shit's Real so life Bruce hard. Wayne stuff. You know what I'm saying? Eighth rank. That shit hard as fuck. That Maybach. Will motivation got started with his YouTube channel 15 years ago, and Damn. since then he's owned every single whip in the world, from yeah, a 2014 yeah. Corvette Stingray to a 2015 Mustang GT, Damn. a 2006, 2008, and 2012 Lamborghini Gallardo, Damn. a 2017 Ram 1500, Damn. a 2016 Lamborghini Huracan 582, Damn. a 2018 Ford Raptor, Fuck. a 2018 Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye, a 2015, 2019, 2022, Yo. and 2023 Fuck. Audi S3, a manual 2018 Porsche 911 GT, T3, a Lamborghini Cur. Aventador, a 2020 Stop Jeep cursing. Gladiator Sport, a Ferrari Freak. F12 with red guts, oh a 2021 Ram oh TRX Hellcat, a 2016 oh Lamborghini Aventador Stupid SV, a the fuck Ferrari up, nigga. Tributo and Spider, a 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Evo, a 2023 Corvette Z06, another Hellcat oh Red Eye Widebody, <laughs> a 2022 and 2024 BMW M4 competition. Hold up, we ain't done yet. A Ferrari 488 GTB and a yellow Aston Martin. Who is this, bro? Who the fuck is this, bro? Wheel motivation. Wheel motivation. No, not Twitter. Wheel motivation. Fuck. I need some motivation, God, nigga. Vantage, God. Tim, appreciate the man. Talk about a car addict. Seventh place God for damn. Will. He got fresh kicks and fresh cars. Fresh Kicks has the freshest BMW G82 M4 on the internet. No cap. Check the facts. It's matte with a crazy kit, wing, F1 Kicks custom plate, and insane MV Forge wheels at the back. But damn. that's not his only bimmer. He also rolls daily in a B. What he just called that shit? That's not his only what? Forge wheels at the back. But that's not his only bimmer. He also. What, nigga? Also rolls daily in a BMW F3340i with a Valvetronic exhaust and RIP M3 custom plate. His two JDMs are a 800 horsepower Fresh built kicks. Nissan 350Z, which is apparently the fastest model in California, and also a white turbo HR swap Nissan Silvia S. Oh my, that shit is hard as fuck. <laughs> 15 that terrorizes the streets not oh that bad God. right <laughs> six rank hard. 
Car fanatic? Yes. 10 out of 10 cars? Yes. That's Mike Mike, who builds, restores, and buys the- I've seen this dude face before. Readiest cars on the planet. We're starting off with a beautiful 2002 Dodge Mike, ACR Mike. Viper, one of 39 ever made with this white gray color scheme. Not to mention, it has that custom hard, wheels nigga. and the engine is supercharged. Then Mike's wide body car is not the usuals you see on the net. Nah, he got- Oh, but I thought nigga just dissed me, cuz. That wasn't me, though. I thought I just caught a straight, but that wasn't me. That wasn't the, that wasn't the tank. Y'all thought that, too? I thought that for a split second. But, come on. Got a wide body. That was you? That wasn't me. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Hold on. Bro. Then, Mike's wide here. body car is not the usuals you see on the net. This not the car. This ain't the... Man, come on. Y'all just relax. Y'all just relax. Cut it out, nigga. This ain't, man, come on now. What wrong with y'all, man? Nah, he got a wide-body 1964 Mustang. That, that thing clean. looks well, not super for real, clean, but, but also a crazy 900 horsepower Lexus 2JZ SC300 that will make any JDM enthusiast fall in love. Same with his olive green Mazda. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Soon, man. Soon, man. 20, 20, 2025. 2025. I'm gonna just sit, I'm gonna just put that in there. 2025. I was this close to buying one this year. The deal slipped through my hands. 2025. If if you don't like this, I don't care. It's not for you. It's for me. FDRX. RX7, man. Seven. The perfect drift baby. His pickup truck is a chef. I heard them shit's not good for drifting. Okay. Heavy Silverado with turbos in it. Following up, there's also a Ford Mustang Notchbox Fox, Fox body. body supercharged in the garage. Body, a dark purple Nissan LSA 350Z, a supercharged Corvette C5, and last but definitely not least. I feel like the V3s, I feel like the V3s look better, bro. Like this specific CTSV, I feel like they look better. This body frame, it just look more aggressive. A Dodge Whoa. Durango Hellcat, two Jeep Wranglers, a Honda Civic Type R, a legendary. Niggas thought I had cars? No. We shall be cold. Seven, three oh Ford Mustangs, God. and about 25 quads and motorcycles. Welp, too bad he can't enjoy them anymore. Fourth rank, though, mind blowing boy. garage. Yo, don't scam people. At top garage. three, that we got serial entrepreneur and success coach Todd Johnson, aka TJ Millionaire Mentor. And let me videos. tell you, Unk is a car enthusiast with no limits. Four hundred sixty thousand dollar Ferrari 812 Superfast, 2017 Dodge Viper ACR Extreme, Ferrari Damn. 488 Pista, seven hundred thousand dollar Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster, 2019 BMW M2, 2018. Dodge S Bro, you have ST starting what? Nigga, this part two. I'm on part one. SRT Demon. 2017 Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. 2008 Bentley video. Continental GTC. Lamborghini Urus. 2009 Aston Martin DBS. $350,000 Lamborghini Huracan Performante. $350,000 Lamborghini Huracan STO. A lava Orange McLaren 765 LT. A $680,000 Ferrari 812 GTS, Ferrari 812 Competition, Ferrari Portofino, and even a Ferrari 488 you want me to stream or not, nigga? I could count 17 cars, valued at $7 million. Sheesh. Third place. Third. Cars, cars, and more cars. That's what Tommy Auto is all about. A Porsche Panorama SD is, hybrid was one of his first cars. The like UK car. sensation owns now a white and gold Porsche GT3 RS 992. A fully electric BMW 17, which is the family oh, car. Oh, a 2006 gosh. Lexus IS 250, that is his first car that he still owns to this day. Even if he got a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, a BMW M3 Touring, an icy blue Ferrari 
SF90, That's a BMW a M8 Competition, Caleb, a 1,015 horsepower V12 Kay. Lamborghini Revelto, an orange that. McLaren 765 LT, his wife's Lamborghini Huracan Storado that's super hard, a purple Lamborghini Urus Performante, a Ferrari 812 Superfast, even a spanking new Lamborghini Temerario, a Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT, and of course, a matte black Mercedes AMG G63. Tommy's whips caught me off guard. You know what I'm saying? These are all lovely, second rank, and well earned. Who is that, too? Drum roll, please. Ah, Here we go. I gotta crack my knuckles on this one. At first place, the most savage petrol head. I think this made a lot of people want to get an SBJ. Because the way he be shifting that hole, you would be like, Nigga, I can't wait to get my shit, nigga. I'm a ah, man. I just cough. Say bless you. Fuck you. You ain't sneeze. And of all, has to be DJ and investor DMO DJ, whose car collection will make you jealous for an eternity. Yes. The bloke doesn't just casually hang out with Central C. His autos will make you want to win Toronto. Let's get it. DMO DJ is the owner of the following. A Mercedes AMG E63 S Stage 3 Final Edition. One of 999 ever made. Damn. That is crazy. A 900... What y'all like better? Y'all like the GT63 S or the E63 S better? Which one y'all like better? 100K tonight? 100K on you? Wait, he hit that bit? I'm, I'm gonna go tune in after this video. GT, GT, GT. GT, GT. E, E, E. I feel like the E got a lot of people. What's the difference? It's really the body. The body. It's a. Y'all know, know everything, but I'm gonna just show y'all. E63S. We're gonna go 2020. What they look like. And it's a big ass price difference, too. Are we gonna go 2020? Two. This is what the E look like. It just look like, like a like a sedan. But you go that that GT sixty three S way. Boy, that man. I don't know what y'all think, chat. E sixty three E sixty three S because it's more sleek. Nigga, that shit ain't more sleek. GT. Man, oh, 100 horsepower I Mercedes say the GT. 80s AMG 63, a 1,000 horsepower Audi RS6, right, link with a 12. Guys. We, we be we boring. We don't be doing nothing. 100 horsepower Honda Civic, a 1,034 horsepower Ford Transit Hypervan, which is the coolest and craziest thing I've ever seen. What a Volkswagen fun. Golf R. A matte black BMW Dude, M4 and the 840 yeah, horsepower yeah. Honda Jazz. But yeah, yeah. we're not done. The best is yet to come. My man got a Nissan Patrol that makes 2,000 horsepower with a black exterior God and damn. Tiffany blue interior. 2,000 oh, horsepower? So fine. This blue interior matches with his holy trinity. A twin turbo Lamborghini Huracan Performante Spider, a wide body lamp. What do this do, bro? What do he do? Lamborghini Urus and, and a two million. What the fuck do this do? He a DJ? I seen him on TikTok. I don't know what he do. He a DJ? 4X. He's an investor. I need to go pick up a DJ equipment setup. God. What the? There's no way this is just DJing. I don't need Man. Dollar McLaren Senna. The ultimate gem. DJ even treated his wife with an insane 2023 Mercedes G800 Genuine Bravest that looks ridiculous. Congrats, DJ. Best collection in the game. First place. Who is first place on this list? Now it's your turn. People, tell us who had the best collection oh. in your opinion. And if you thought this ranking was pretty accurate or not, nah, thanks so much for watching. Hey, shout out to Celebrity Cars for making these videos, bro, because y'all know, well, if y'all don't know, bro, this shit, look, it's 23 minutes. This, I know this shit took a long time to edit, bro. This nigga got to go into each person video, get clips, all this, that.